when they run it out of hers The devil and his keys and I'm sitting in reverse About to back up on my life and make it worse Dealing with disease and I know I can't be cured I'm certain, I'm uncertain and I'm certainly unsure No sir, I assure you it's a circus over her This ain't church I'm into the canopy, I'm winding up the family tree It's nuts, but I think the family's cursed Whoa, widow, lost a father and a husband Now she's on her own in a country who don't love her How does Moses make coffee? He brews it What's going on YouTube? It's Wally Noxo And we are back, we are back with our reaction series So today, today, man Christmas, Easter, and Hanukkah have come together To make a beautiful love baby And that baby is known as ERB I am well aware, we've got a new epic rap battles of history. This right here right now is none other than King Kong versus Godzilla. But before I get any further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing and you want to support channel directly, I have just dropped limited edition with the KH on it, knoxhillmusic.com. It is out right now. You can copy yours. I'll put the links to get that below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. ERB, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Let's go. I love that opening. Ah, uh, like the little sort of almost like choir-esque chants. And then you hear like that siren just like droning in the background, like warning. We got the two titans on deck. Let's get this today. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is coming out swinging. Like I said, we're doing these breakdowns a little bit differently. We're going to hear the verse, then we're going to come back. We're going to break it down. And, oh, there is a lot of bars in this. That's what I would expect with the King of the Monsters, baby. Come on. Drop in on that Godzilla stop. Already, I'll chew you up, dog. Like, dog, homie, what's up? Versus D-O-G, dog. And if you think about Kong, they make dog toys. So he's got a double on King Kong dog toys to the actual Kong. Man, that is smooth. Nice. Godzilla has all these other monsters in the Godzilla verse. It's always just about like King Kong and the only buddy that he has is a girl that he has to kidnap, usually a hot blonde chick that he likes to climb up buildings with. I mean, go figure. And obviously, you know, because primates, chimpanzees, right? Apes are supposed to be very social creatures. They have a complex social structure that they're a part of. So it's ironic that he's lonely. So we're tying in to actual animal behavior and a little bit of science on top of that with the bars. Let's go. Godzilla did his research today. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee and a chimpanzee. That's punny. Crushing versus King Kong crushing, simping on a girl, and Godzilla has a different type of crushing. He will just crush you beneath his feet. Let's go. Chained up and roofied on some goofy berry juice. I love the just the ooh ooh internal rhymes coming out of that. And I think what was it? The original King Kong movie when they like knocked him out, they gave him some berry juice that put him to sleep. So Godzilla's trolling him. You don't even have a tolerance. Come on. It's only quitting and it's only alcoholics anonymous if you stop drinking. Right, Tokyo Play plays off of like Yo Play, Yogurt, but then the uh, the Tokyo leaning into the Here Comes the Airplane line, because obviously King Kong climbs to the top of the Empire State Building, gets just shot down by airplanes, gets gunned down, versus like feeding a child, right? 
playing if to eating you, Godzilla spoon feeding this, right? He's hot right now. He's got the sauce. So he's like, here comes the airplane, little Kongy. Here, go ahead, nibble on that. Go sniff some more skirts. Don't kill you just that hot like here comes the airplane. That was my favorite bar so far, right? Dropping off the Empire. King Kong getting dropped from the Empire State Building versus the TV series Empire that Jesse Smollett was a part of when he had that whole, you know, racial abuse situation and he actually paid actors and created this whole situation in order to be a victim. I mean, that's just, that's wild. Right, so we're playing off of that beatdown is real, unlike Jesse Smollett faking the beatdown from Empire versus King Kong Empire State Building. We got bars on bars. Dropping off the Empire, feel like Jesse Smollett. Said this beatdown is real. I got this battle covered like a burn code, and I'll make an ass out of you like Nintendo did. The only Why'd you have to bring Nintendo into this? Bring me back the Super Smash Brothers. This is a melee right now. All right, Donkey Kong was sued by Universal. Universal tried to claim that Nintendo's Donkey Kong was hijacking King Kong. Guess what happened? You talk about a reverse Uno card and a backfire just blowing up in your face. Not only did Universal lose that suit that they presented to Nintendo to try to bully them, Nintendo ended up winning even more and Universal had to pay them for all the damages. So you sue someone, then you get reverse uno and then Universal just had egg in their face in the end. So make an ass out of you because ass to donkey, donkey, Kong, King, Kong. There's some clever bars in this. <laughs> what is this little shakedown in the back? I want to see some twerking from Godzilla at the end after this, man. I love the uh, the CGI to this and the graphics, man. It's very dope. Like, this is the classic Godzilla look. And then his voice. I haven't talked about, like, the mixing of his voice. At first, I felt like it was a little bit, like, lower in the mix. So I was having trouble hearing it, like, cut through. But I feel like they are doing it, like, more justice. Just in terms of, like, the way that this has been mixed. Just to, like, match, literally, if Godzilla was in a battle right now. Dropping off the Empire Jesse Smollett said this beat down is real I got this battle covered like a burn code in it and obviously Bento Lid covering it, taking it away to go versus he's covering this. He's on top right now. And then the whole Bento Lid and the food scheme still ties in with like feeding you lead and spoon feeding you. And here comes the airplane again. Look at, look at Godzilla in the back smacking that ass right now. I mean, that's some of my dance moves in the club right there. That's my go-to. for you how you feeling today boys and girls but i love that da, 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 da. i love kind of it's a little bit of a faster scheme from king kong right and he kind of like runs over it and just yeah just a different sort of flow and attack like i feel like godzilla was more on the percussive hits and king kong had just like more personality obviously because you don't have like this deep ass voice that's being mixed so like he was so conversational with his punchlines. there's so much character to each of them very like battle rap-esque the way that he set up his punchlines and delivered them and brought them home all right we got to break down the wordplay now because this was oh king kong is in the building say it with your chest out you like nintendo Rampage Lizzie, Lizzie for Lizard, but also the game Rampage had a character Lizzie that you could play, and I think she turned into a monster, didn't she? It's kind of like my wife in the morning. I'm just kidding. I love my wife. I thought of you like Nintendo D. The only game I played is Rampage Lizzie. So he's calling Godzilla Lizzie, Lizzie girl. He's trolling him. Beauty kills this beast that you trust ain't free. Beauty kills this beast. That was a quote from a King Kong movie. I guess Beauty killed the beast in the end because he's always running around with the girl, and they obviously had to save 
the girl over King Kong and his ass got lit up by the airplanes in the end versus like he's a beast, Beauty and the Beast, Disney bars, come on boys and girls. Obviously a punchline in rap versus a literal punch. Godzilla can't punch because he's got arms like Benzino. He's like a little T-Rex, right? At least he's got a neck, unlike Mr. You know, no neck. But, you know, it's it's very cute. Like, he tries to swing it around. So you got no punchlines in this rap battle versus you literally can't punch. And then the ass brain, because there was a Godzilla movie when he had, you know, he's got a brain up here and they had a brain like down in his ass controlling his tail and everything. So there's so much that is always packed into ERB. And I do my best to try to give them justice because it's just such clever writing, the way they set all this up. Brain is hanging with these monkeys hanging with these monkey bars, like swinging from the monkey bars on a playground versus King Kong being a monkey. And then the bars that he's giving you every single line, a bar within rap in this battle smooth. And you can't keep up. You can't hang with me. So that was a smooth triple. Facts. Oh, the classic Charles Barkley commercial when he's like playing 1v1 with Godzilla and he just pushes Godzilla aside, just like bitches him, taste this teacup, baby, and slams it home. But then they're like best friends afterwards and he puts his arm around him and they walk off into the sunset of Tokyo. It's beautiful. Love that. And then King Kong was supposed to battle Frankenstein and something happened, I guess, with like copyright or setting that up. So literally Godzilla is the one who stepped in and they made the first King Kong vs. Godzilla. Frankenstein, first time we made a movie. And I dumped on you like Barkley at the base of Mount Fuji. Face facts, cables, you can't tell this yourself. So they bring the mammal in the nursery and fills that the hell. Oh. Put your phone to me, I'm his own. Oh, I love that. I love that swagger bar right there. Listen, your films aren't doing so well, they, they got to bring the primate in. All right, nobody wants to see a cold ass lizard. All right, they need a little bit of a little bit of the Kong in their lives. How's that feel? And we don't love them hoes. Obviously, quoting Snoop Dogg. So homage to Snoop right there. But then the Toho's because Kong started with RKO, and then he Toho got the rights to Kong didn't they? So Toho got the right. So love them hoes, Toho. So a playoff of hoes and Snoop's line versus Toho's. And I'm guessing the Snoop dog references the dog that I pointed out in the Kong dog toys from the first verse. That's what I'm guessing. And obviously Snoop used to be signed to death row. So relating to death row and tying all that in versus he's putting you on death row right now. And he's as old as when death row originated. I'm as old as death row. I love that. Here's your song. I felt like maybe we should have pulled one of these out, but it's fine. He did that earlier, so it's all good. But also, that ties in deeper even when we're talking about, like, science and, like, trying to teach chimpanzees, like, sign language to communicate. Oh, it's deep. And they called King Kong the eighth wonder of the world as well. And also, like, the mind competing with mine. Smooth, like, just rhyme scheme flip right there in wordplay. But then King Kong, being a primate, is supposed to be extremely intelligent versus Godzilla, who is just, you know, cold-blooded lizard, not as intelligent, has always been portrayed that way in the movies. And as we know, a rap battle is normally two grown-ass men writing poems to each other. It's very cute at the end of the day. But in this case, we got two titans writing poems to each other. Oh, man, like the classic uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Hi, you suck. I just love how, like, the mouthing never matches what we're, like, reading in terms of the, the English subtitles or even the dubs on top of that. Words don't match your actions. In this case, you're faking in this rap battle. That was a great bar and double. Just like batting, captured, your words don't match your actions. You weren't even the bomb monster from the... You weren't even a bombist monster. You see right there? You weren't even a bombist monster. It's just got a little bit of like an accelerated flow at times, man. It's so smooth. I love the flow patterns from King Kong. What's cracking? Like what's going on? What's happening? Versus literally the original OG of the sea monsters goes back to Greek mythology and the motherfucking cracking. What's cracking on that? You weren't even the bombist monster from the sea. 
besiege you with Kraken. I'll sustain your land in a rising cold fish and rice. Come to New York and King Kong a bing bong. Fuck your right. Obviously, like, bing bong. I just went to New York for a bachelor party, right? So, like, the subway, bing bong. When the doors open up, so he's, like, bing bong in you. Come on, he's the king of NYC. Land of the rising sun, Japan. Cold fish, sushi, and rice bars. And the rising cold fish and rice. Come to New York and King Kong a bing bong. Fuck your right. Yeah, there's the sign language we needed. Oh no, not Jack Black. Do we have to do that to Jack? Maybe we do. I love when he just like is playing peekaboo behind this building up here. It's very cute, man. I've always wanted to play hide and seek with Godzilla. Obviously, Hollow Earth is where, like, Godzilla and all the Titans and everyone has originated in the monster verse. So, Hollow Earth versus literally being hollow and empty. And it, listen, there has been documented evidence of pissing monkeys off, and sometimes they like to have fun and they just like to throw shit at your face. I wish I could do that. You know, when I get like really old and just decrepit, I'm gonna just pretend I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna walk around with a man diaper, and I'm sometimes I'm just gonna poop and I'm gonna throw it at people I don't like and my enemies that I've made a list of over the years. That could be fun. Obviously, kaiju films are monster films, and then they just did Pacific Rim 2 dirty. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I did enjoy the first one, though. Manila is Godzilla's son, so this is kid stuff. Get it? You couldn't measure up to my shin because literally Godzilla is supposed to be a hell of a lot bigger than King Kong. I don't know when we get Godzilla versus Kong why all of a sudden they become the same size because that is not true to the origin stories. But anyways, there was also a movie. Wasn't there Shin of Godzilla? So that's a smooth double. That's why that's capitalized Shin of Godzilla. <laughs> Couldn't measure up to the shin of Godzilla. I love that. Da, 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 Cool cadence control right there to just set up that punch. Obviously, Jack Black was in the King Kong. That was a Peter Jackson film. Don't do the Peter Jackson remake like that, all right? Man gave us Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, just some of the greatest trilogies of all time. You can't do that to me. And then I think it was in that very remake when he, like, battles the T-Rex and, like, bites his tongue out. Yeah, just tongue twisting. It's cute. Godzilla has some nice bars, but it's the rebuttals for me from King Kong today right now. Obviously, like, tighten your lips. Tighten them, right? Constrict them, make them tighter versus being a titan. That was smooth wordplay right there. Tenacious D's. It wouldn't be ERB without a dick joke. Relating back to the Jack Black, so he's rebuttaling the Jack Black line. With Jack Black's band, Tenacious D's versus D's Nuts down here. Mmm. Salty. I love how he farts right there. Very Eminem-esque. Paying homage to M. Rap God versus Rap Godzilla. You can't rap. Your fish lips around, Tenacious D. You ain't a rap Godzilla. More like Brave Me. Japan, you were a metaphor for nuclear war. Mm. In Hollywood, they left your ball on the that might be one of my favorite lines because that cuts historically as well, right? Because Godzilla was essentially symbolic. He, he was a creature from nuclear testing and nuclear war. He's supposed to represent 
obviously Hiroshima and Nagasaki and those horrible atrocities, but the Americans, since we're the ones who, you know, dropped the bombs and did something really fucked up worldwide, uh, basically it's like when Godzilla got imported over here, they like chopped up the subtitles and edited some stuff because they didn't want like the nuclear war analogy to be so obvious and for people really to pick up on that. That was smooth. If this around, tenacious key way to rap Godzilla, more like brave Japan, you were a metaphor for nuclear war, but Hollywood, they left your ball on the cutting room floor. So he's saying like they toned him down, like didn't have the balls to criticize nuclear war and do what the original Godzilla was doing. So there we go. Metaphor for nu but also, you know, emasculate your opponent in a rap battle, which is literally happening here. Nuclear war, but Hollywood, they left your ball on the cutting room floor. And then the 90s didn't make you any cooler. What kind of pumpy chump gets pumped by Ferris Bueller? Another great line because they gave the rights to Sony in the 90s and that Godzilla movie flopped and the actor who played Ferris Bueller was in that and took down Godzilla. That's just wrong. Man, man skipped school to go fight Godzilla. How does that happen? And then the 90s didn't make you any cooler. What kind of pumpy chump gets pumped by Ferris Bueller? So good. Bumpy Chump gets punked by Ferris Bueller. That, 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 that. Love sort of like the percussive type of hits right there with the rhyme pattern and flow. 90s didn't make you any cooler. What kind of bumpy Chump gets punked by Ferris Bueller? So go ahead and glow blue. I'ma make you code blue. Go ahead, glow blue. Code blue. Love just the way he starts with that O sounding rhyme scheme and then punches in, man. Another great flow switch. Bumpy Chump gets punked by Ferris Bueller. So go ahead and glow blue. I'ma make you code blue. I'm an awesome I think he is O2 in this battle so far, but also oxygen on the periodic table is represented by O and then a little 2. So O2, you're O2 in this battle. Oxygen Destroyer was a weapon of mass destruction used to take down Godzilla. So he's an oxygen destroyer destroying you, taking away your breath right now in this rap battle, making you O2 in the rap battle, and referencing referencing the weapon that took you down. I can speak, I got this. Let's keep going. Oh, blue, I'm gonna make you cold blue. I'm an oxygen. And Cold Blue, emergency. It's going down versus Godzilla blowing blue. And now you're all doomed. Oh, you shouldn't try to talk about the atom. The beast to be from 20,000 fathoms. Couldn't fathom. You could come at me with all oh, this beat switch is dope. Try to talk about the atom. The beast to be from 20,000 fathoms. Couldn't fathom. You could come at me with Iron Man and Thor. I'll still destroy. Now I'm making the riches and I'm swinging digits and triplets like a door. Nice. My voice cuts deep like I'm rubbing on a double base. I spit the burn for Turtle Island into Palm Bay. Surfing up some animated rabbit fur. I think Godzilla had to come through. I think he had to step it up in that third verse, and, and I think he did, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring this back and break this one down. I love how they have him, obviously, in the ocean coming through the depths when you're talking about fathoms and then the atom the atom bomb so now it's time to rebuttal that critique the beast from 20,000 20, fathoms that's interesting to use that one fathoms couldn't, fath couldn't fathom right fathoms in terms of measurement versus fathoming it out smooth little double right there but then the beast from 20,000 fathoms was like the OG Godzilla it came out like a year before and Godzilla obviously copied off of that. So that's an interesting bar for Godzilla to use. I felt like King Kong probably would have been more suited to use that one because even though it's a diss on King Kong and like a flex bar, it's kind of more dissing Godzilla himself if you think about it. That should be like the movie that should not be named, I feel like. Yeah, because the beast from 20,000 Fathoms, like, nuclear result all of a sudden this dinosaur t-rex thing appears like you know you can easily see the correlations to that and godzilla iron man and thor because godzilla had his own comics he was featured in marvel for a little bit of time and i think the avengers even tried to stop him yeah just like some of these like break beats that are happening and these effects just down in the mix are just super dope right now i love just the change of pace here it's almost like 
like submarine, like down below, and like water just like cutting through the ocean, different vibrations and noises. I thought you would come at me with Iron Man and throw off the destroy. I'm bigger than bridges and I'm swinging digits and triplets like a door. Bigger than bridges and I'm swinging digits. Da -da 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 -da. He switches into a triplet flow. So triplet, like Ghidorah, Ghidorah, monster with three heads from the Godzilla verse versus rapping in triplets and how he switches the flow right there. That was smooth. Me with Iron Man and throw off the destroy. I'm bigger than bridges and I'm swinging digits and triplets like a door. Nice. Bigger than bridges. Why do they capitalize that? I miss that one. Someone's gonna have to comment below on that one. Obviously, we know the true historical tragedy of Pompeii. I've actually been there, but you know, the volcano blows up and like people were. I mean, there's still molds of them, literally from the ash and the lava and how they formed. One thing I realized is, damn, how short people were back then. But anyways, I'm digressing. So, right, Skull Island, where King Kong is from, that blew up. Godzilla's going to destroy that, much in the same way that the city of Pompeii was completely destroyed. My voice cuts deep. This is cuts deep like I'm rubbing, on a rubbing on a double bass because the original, like, iconic noise of that Godzilla roar that we, like, all know to this day, that Godzilla roar was created because the guy literally, like, dipped his hand in like tar and shit in a glove and like rubbed together a, a double bass. No, it's it's not some type of weird whips and chains type of thing I'm talking about. It, we're talking about making no noises? Okay, yeah, that, that could still apply to the innuendo. <sighs> All right, I need to knock that off. We're knocking some bed springs. Oh, R.I.P. Harambe. We're bringing that back. Oh, man. This is the line I wanted to figure out, but hang on. You make weak tokusatsu because tokusatsu, again, it's like the kaiju style of filming with like, you know, the, the cut animation and like the monsters and, you know, humans dressing up in the costumes and playing. It's just the like the style of filming in genre, right? King Kong was kind of the OG originators, like the original King Kong movies. And then Godzilla, obviously, more so like perfected the tokusatsu. So that's how I take that. And obviously what you're, what you're brewing up, your ingredients right now. But then he's got the haiku lines and the haiku is what? First line is five, second line is seven, third line is five. And I just want to count this. Damn, I despise you. So there's our five. You make weak tokusatsu. There's our seven. There's our seven. Soft like some tofu. Yeah, that's it. That's literally a haiku. That is very, very clever writing right there. That was dope. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey see me, I'll do you, I'll break you down like a Mech and I Kong. And yeah, because, you know, you've got Mech Godzilla, and then there's also like a Mech King Kong to, like, the enemy of King Kong, Mech Godzilla. Kong, fuck you, and, the balloons you and then the balloons line ties in with the, uh, when they gave Kong the old berry juice in the original, and then, like, it was so ridiculous, like... They had a bunch of balloons to, like, transport them. But I feel like that could be a Donkey Kong reference and Donkey Kong flying around on balloons, too. I feel like that's a double there. I love the Mecha Godzilla just nodding behind you. Like, Kosan right there in that rap battle. Like I did to Fuck you and the you Anyways, that was more disappointing than your enemy. Like 98 is just another A. I don't know about that last verse from King Kong. We gonna have to bring that one back too. Sorry guys, camera died. I hope you enjoyed that sexy chicken. Don't know whether to sleep with it or to eat it. It's a dilemma I have every single day. Anyways, let's keep it going. Anyways, that was more disappointing than your anime. Like 98 is just another anime. Anyways, anime. Just that little 
cadence and rhyme scheme right there to fit those slant rhymes in. That is my favorite just response. Like, because he says it lazily and it's like he's just sleeping. He slept through that Godzilla verse. Like, what a great way to troll Godzilla and just have so much, again, character and personality to the delivery, man. Kong is taking this for me. More disappointing than your anime. Now, obviously, Godzilla had an anime and that completely flopped. Like 98 is just another angular. 98 is when they gave Sony Pictures the rights to film a Godzilla movie. It was a total flop. Uh, Toho regretted it later on. The creators of Godzilla said, yeah, that was a huge mistake. Don't give it to the Americans. More than your anime. Like 98 is just another Oh, and then in that movie, right, Godzilla laid eggs at the end. So, like, laying an egg, like, zero. You're laying an egg in this rap battle. You literally laid an egg versus... Laying eggs on everything that you do, smooth. Disappointing than your anime. Like 98 is just another egg you lay. You ugly boss from fuckers who don't know how you got pregnant. Your whole suit's a beer rubber. I love that. Instead of motherfucker, it's a Mothra fucker. So he's sleeping around with Mothra. Because that's got to be how he got pregnant, right? To set up the pregnant lines. And then, obviously, the original Godzilla character was played by a dude in a rubber suit. And the Godzilla suit's made of rubber, right? Versus a rubber like a condom. So how can you get pregnant if we're practicing safe sex and then laying eggs? That whole scheme and setup for pregnancy is ridiculous. You ugly Mothra fucker. Still don't know how you got pregnant. Your whole suit's a beer rubber. Wow. And that's nice wordplay right there. I'm not hearing like a big ass monster verse from you versus being a part of the Godzilla monster verse. Gojira, just another name for Godzilla. Right, because one of the co creators of Godzilla is Ishiro Honda versus literally Honda vehicles, which are renowned for, listen, they're reliable cars and they retain their worth for a long time. So what he's saying in this case, Godzilla, mm, he's, he's failed. He's failed Honda in a number of ways. Smooth double again. Obviously, we got different references to the movies like uh, Kong shoving a tree down Godzilla, Godzilla doing his classic like Power Rangers slide across the stage, drop kick, and then obviously the like the Godzilla, the OG of the Fortnite dance. You want to see a victory dance? Go look up the Godzilla victory dance, baby. It's what I do on the graves of my enemies. Apex, great ape, ape, axe. Again, great rhyme writing and just wordplay. Apex at the top. With the ape, axe, like ape axe, which was basically Godzilla's scale that he converted into an axe in the last movie. Like the like <laughs> Bro, I just love those little string impacts that they added there just to like kind of escalate as we're getting to the end of this battle. And all monsters attack was like criticized for being a flop Godzilla movie because it just recycled old Godzilla footage. So recycling your verses versus that movie. This Brian Cranston in the Godzilla movies was not breaking bad. He died pretty soon, right? Versus Silverback being a Silverback gorilla versus won't be bringing no Silverback. Like, bringing the Silverback, I won't be in second place. I'll be bringing the gold back probably. Won't be bringing no Silverback. Versus like Brian Cranston, you've been dead since the first half. I like this one. Oh! Oh, is this how they filmed it? Oh, they wore their full body suits and did the CGI that way. That's dope. So nice Peter and Epic like did it that way. That's I love that. That was dope. ERB on stage? Let's go! dope all right all right we gotta we gotta check the scorecard here so i definitely think kong went up 2-0 i think godzilla brought it back more in that third verse right i love king kong's flow it didn't feel like some of the lines of king kong's third verse hit as hard as godzilla's third verse so i'm gonna give the third verse to our boy zilla right so it's gonna be 2-1 to king kong though i just felt like overall better multis 
Some deeper hitting punches for me. Again, I love the characterization, the personality that Kong was able to bring. Some great flow pockets and patterns from that. Yeah, that was dope, man. But who do you guys think won? Comment down below. Anyways, ERB, you are not so certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, for some reason, you're here at the end. Obviously, you enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. This is Wally Noxo. You know I'll catch you again.